program was a class for picking up women that cost about $300. In the course description, he wrote a small paragraph on why he was qualified to teach this subject. For nearly a decade, I've had over 75 girls work for me, and my business model is different than 99% of webcam studio owners. Over 50% of my employees were actually my girlfriend at the time, and of all my girlfriends, none were in the adult industry before they met me. When you combine this with the name tattooed on them, it definitely just seems a little off. Sure, he says stuff like this fairly often, but what makes this even weirder is that he removed a description, the photos, and the whole program as soon as it got attention. This isn't like him. He normally embraces the negative attention and even utilizes it to drive more people to his courses. So why would he delete all of this? April Baker. That was her name. That was her name. And I was like, you're a hog. So I messaged her. She's like, I'm only 16. I was like, give a fuck. About me, 21. Let me tell you something. Girls come to me and go, Yeah, I beat it up. I was like, Oh, yeah, okay, cool. No, I mean it. No, bitch, I mean it. I guarantee I changed the way you look at sex forever. You're gonna be fucking crying. I won't cry. I bet you cry, bitch. I bet you fucking cry. Don't challenge me. You're effectively challenging me to a fight now. You're saying I can't hurt you. You're out your fucking mind. I don't even have to fuck you. Forget the sex part. That's a distraction. My dick can stay in my pants, I'll just start beating the shit out of you. How about that? We walk in the bedroom, I start kicking your ass. But you cry then? Yeah, you want distraction from the dick. Well, that distracts me, I'm trying to fucking fight. No, I just want to fight. Say that shit to me again. Can I say this on YouTube? Yeah, I can say this on YouTube. I've legitimately done that. Girls run in their mouth. I just start beating the fuck out of them, not even having sex. They love it more than ever. They like it more, the less sex you have them, the better. Investigators went to their home to rescue the captive women. They uncovered the webcamming business the brothers run. Some of the women living in the home had tattoos that read owned by Tate, and they referred to the Tate brothers as masters. Oh, and remember that 21-year-old that was seen getting pizza? She was identified as Emma Gabby, and she claimed that Tristan Tate told her that if she left, he would find her and hurt her. Plus, it's not as if she could have easily left on her own free will. This house is full of surveillance cameras, multiple weapons, and a former performance boxer guard standing out front. No charges have been filed against the brothers yet, but that is a big yet attached to the end there. But hey, maybe you like Andrew Tate. Maybe you think that exploiting women and potentially placing them in danger is in fact super manly.